Standing before you today as a valedictorian of the College of Engineering class of 2025, my heart is full, full of gratitude, awe, and quiet wonder. For this moment is more than a celebration of grades and accolades. It is a story of faith, perseverance, and purpose. Everyone here has a story. For some, it is how they got up from the deepest valleys to the highest heights. For others, it is a narrow climb into the first class, second class, or even to the graduating class of 2025. Regardless of where you started, the fact that you are here today means one thing. You are a winner. Talking of stories, you've heard a lot. This is mine. It's just a brief clarification. My story began at Gilead Academy, a humble yet remarkable school founded by my mother and grandmother, the very woman who became my first teacher, mentor, and model of discipline. It was there I first learned that excellence is not, a, it's not an act, but a habit, and that diligence, no matter how small, is never wasted. From Gilead, I proceeded to Opokuwari School, one of the best senior high schools in the country, where I studied general arts, not science, but then, while I was pursuing general arts, while my courses spoke of governance and geography, my dreams whispered of bridges, buildings, and blueprints. I graduated top of the college and the department, but my heart was already building arches of possibility in a world called engineering. After senior high school, I had to face a difficult choice to pursue the SAT or to go back to study. And as we heard from the registrar, I picked the harder path, go back to study physics and chemistry. Six months later into the journey, everything paused. COVID-19 came, and that moment was really a moment for reflection. For a moment, I thought my life's path was completely changing. I even considered devoting myself fully to evangelism. But purpose has a way of finding us again. When exams finally resumed, by God's grace, I passed but then I wasn't still unsure about pursuing university education. I took a gap year to teach mathematics at the school that raised me and also to pursue software engineering at IPMC. But the call of engineering was too strong this time around. I applied to KNUST and when that admission letter came, oh, it felt like destiny knocking once again. Entering the College of Engineering with a general arts background was intimidating. Many of my colleagues had years of science behind them. Some had even represented their schools in the National Science of Math quiz. I remember telling myself several times, if I can't match their background, I can outwork their expectations. So I worked quietly, diligently, faithfully. After the first year, I topped my class, and from then I topped till I completed. And two of these years, I topped the college. In fact, considering all of this, really does feel surreal. And standing here in front of you as the valedictorian of the College of Engineering, something I never imagined would happen. The first civil engineering student to do this in many years. But this honor is not mine alone. It belongs to the family that believed in me. To my parents, if you can stand and wave. To my father, Eric Opokuwari, my life coach, whose wisdom and passion for education and unyielding faith became a compass for me when my strength faltered. To my mother, Mary Opokuwari, who built both a school and a son. To my siblings, Owusu, Edusi, Denzel, and my one and only sister, Breye, your encouragement carried me through long nights and long semesters. To my extended family, thank you for being my pillars. It also belongs to my mentor to Dr. Russell Wusue Frifa. Words will fail me if I were to express all that you have done for me. Thank you for everything throughout the journey. May God bless you and your wonderful family, Dr. Russell, for being such an amazing person. To Dr. Jacose Banahine, my thesis supervisor, who taught me the true meaning of intellectual curiosity and inspired me to pursue research with depth, integrity, and courage. To all my lecturers, Dr. Eugene, Prof. Nemo, Dr. Tutu, Prof. Ajay, Prof. Helen, Prof. Grichum, and others, I'm deeply grateful. To my friends who called me valedictorian even before I claimed it, who challenged me to pursue greatness, 
to Ben, Tete, Gideon, Godfred Wabu, Papaya Wadomako, Karis, Agbaga, Sefako, Amapokia, Jessica Jones, Hazel, Kisi, Andy, and several others. Your friendship has been my quiet strength and my laughter through this exciting journey. And to Ajua, my closest friend and confidant, thank you for walking beside me through every uncertainty and for reminding me of the joy in the journey. Today is not just about me, it's about us, the class of 2025. We did it, guys. We are the generation that studied through a pandemic, fought through power outages, survived tight deadlines and endless group projects. Yet through it all, we rose together. We built something beautiful out of chaos. We learned not just how to build systems, resilience. We discovered that engineering is not just about equations, but about impact, building for people, for purpose, for posterity. To our lecturers who molded us with patience and discipline, to our parents who prayed, sacrificed, and hoped, and to KNUST, which gave us not just the knowledge, but the courage to dream, we say thank you. Ultimately, to our great God, Jehovah, who makes everything beautiful in its time, we are eternally grateful. As we step into the world, may we remember that the greatest structures we will ever build are not made of steel or concrete, but of character, integrity, and service. One piece of advice has guided me throughout my life, the wisdom at Ecclesiastes 9.10. It says, Wherever your hand, whatever your hand finds to do, do with all your might. You see, life is brief and tomorrow is never guaranteed. All we truly have is today, this moment, to make our lives count. So wherever you go, whatever your hand finds to do, give it your very best. You may not see the results immediately, you may not understand the journey while you are still on it, but diligence always invites grace, and hard work, sooner or later, always bears fruit. And to anyone who feels their beginning is too small, or their background is too distant from their dream. Remember the general art student from Owas who became the valedictorian of the College of Engineering. It is my hope that my story inspires you and reminds you that excellence is not an act but a habit, that consistency beats applause every time, that there is no disadvantage too deep for determination to climb. You see, success starts in the mind long before it appears in life. Never let anyone tell you that you can't do something. If you have a dream, you got to protect it. People can't do something themselves and they tell you you can't do it. If you believe that you can, then you will. So, dream boldly, trust God deeply, believe in yourself wholeheartedly, ask for help when you need it, and above all, be great deliberately and unapologetically. Class of 2025, the world is waiting for your light. Don't dim it. Don't doubt it. Just go out there. Shine, rise, and show the world what greatness looks like. Congratulations, class of 2025. We made it by grace, by grit, and by God. Thank you, and may God bless the College of Engineering, KNUST, and our beloved Ghana. May we all be great. Humanus Domine Akatachi Upokuware is the school and Preseklegon is a school. St. Peter's is a school and the rest is a school. And Upokuware is the school. Damn shit. Master Srebo. Watch it and say Upokuware is school. No. Omuye like Omuye the school. Nankasa. There is no other school than Opokuari school. And why is it so? Because after the NSMK, among four has been blasting Opokuari left and right, disgracing. Although Stephen is a legend though, but they don't understand why Opokuari um, people are claiming that Opokuari is the best than Infantipim. Just some issues that um, this year Infantipim had a trophy or something like that. So people were debating on it and now this has just um showed us that opoku are like they are very good they are damn in studies they are very brilliant in a way that master cerebro in the field of civil engineering and in the field of engineering as a whole master cerebro is exceptional 
being a general art student sweeps this out talent i'm even excited and everybody in the room is like cold with um like they are they, they don't expect master cerebro to kick all these innocent contestants and win this um with this high dignity Charlie, i'm even i'm even surprised i'm even surprised if a general art student can pass through can cruise through to become an engineering student and not that graduating with the best student in the field of um, civil engineering engineering field as as a whole charlie that's so strange and this tells us a lot in our life that determination is the key and consistency we should we should like take things to ourselves learn things and be determined we should take the future that the future is not on the silver platter if you don't do the damn work if you sit down and you, you, you believe in mediocre and you believe in average you believe that you cannot do anything you believe that you are still dumb you believe in your self-pity thinking that smart people are born that way then you are on the wrong track even this general art students there were so many nsm contestants in his class but this guy told to himself from opoku wari being a general ass swift to writing physics and chemistry and passed through to the engineering field and he believed in himself that consistency being the best student in his first exams in his first year continued through to this determination and now he has been embraced with the grace such a grace people has been wanting such a grace such like ah, sorry, the guy is brilliant everybody is interested in what the guy has won and what the guy did has showed us that the life that we are living we should take determination as part of our life we should take consistency as part of our life we should take our dream into consideration and we should embrace the struggles in whatever we do that in the end grace will prevail and this has showed us master Serevo has proved to us that he has cruised through the life and now in the way of Oboku are from the Bragi and now Presec for Nintiasi and St. Peter's for Nintiasi at this school I if you want to but you but you for Nintiasi and you say Oboku are for Bragi now by the same region there schools in the Bragi you prem petrol over the Bragi at you I Kuis be bragging like I'm bragging. You know, I got a chair. They are bragging on the media. I was having a friend like I watched the statues. The, the, the guy is bragging. Eh, the guy is bragging, but he has to brag because Opoku are school. No, it's a generated general art student. What's in your room? True to science. I be a field of engineering in uh or be like the boss of the land of field of engineering the game is the fondian amoye again amoye into poco are for the chemono mo brage mo ana mo mo timo this is 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 a more lesson than the nsmq let's take this into consideration this competition i will see it taking into consideration is a a more serious than the nsmq now mo can one seminar how can a general student a one senior field of physics one senior dynamics one senior a he a friend is saying um fractional force money in your money must interpret our force physics physics and never be able to physics him no charlie needs you heat money now when i came with dynamic one senior she and found chemistry one senior she and found no team the big room i be best student in kenya is here me to me because i can't waste for not being can't waste for not being or my being contestant for you know go many some but you're for one way at this school for you know more oh my civil engineering civil engineering is one of the best engineering field and one of the best courses in the university we only know go on we a civil engineering but being true to serve what the issue now the first true to the field of engineering I can boldly say that the guy is determined. If you are not determined in the future, you will sink and suck. And the guy is well determined. 
that's why he has cruised through and becoming the master class of the field of engineering which is civil engineering so i'm really um, um like i'm really amazed for the achievement serbo has proved to opokuwar has proved to um the, his family has proved to ghana has proved to the world and this is a more lesson to all of us by the way my name is don well if today is your first time thank you very much it's my channel where you get nsmq insights educational insights gsmq which will be starting on the first to six december so 24th of this november is the balloting a lot exciting content is on my channel wait and stay tuned for all exciting and astonishing videos on my channel thanks for rocking with you done well and thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe bye bye